Hello friends, welcome to the video series on SQL PLSQL questions for online exams and certifications. There are a lot of questions I have received from one of the subscribers and I am going to cover all those questions in the upcoming videos of this section. And thanks a lot for sending all those questions. If you have any such question, please send it back to me. It will be very helpful for all the viewers and the subscribers of this channel. Okay, so in this video, we are going to see two such questions. So in the first question, we have an anonymous block where I have declared a variable A and then we have a, a local procedure which is taking an input and it is just multiplying the values. Then I am initializing the variable A with 10 and then I am calling the procedure square num and I am just printing the value of A here. So if you want to know what is a local procedure or in this case it is a local procedure. So if it, if you want to know what is like local procedure or like private procedure or a public procedure or one time only procedure, I would suggest you to watch this video. Okay. So now the question is what would be the output of this anonymous block? So here are the possible options. So I would suggest you to pause this video at this point, take few minutes and think what would be the answer and then continue watching this video. Okay, so first let us execute this program and let us try to understand what it will give. Then we'll see what is the right answer. Okay, here is the anonymous block. So we have declared a variable a of number data type and then we have a local procedure square num. So here I have initialized the variable a with 10. Then we are calling the local procedure square name. So what will happen is this variable will be passed as an input to the square name. See that this is an input type variable or input type parameter. So if there is an input type parameter, that particular parameter will be a read only parameter. We will not be able to assign any value to that parameter. So but in this case, what we are trying to do is we are trying to assign some value in an in parameter. So in this case, this will return and runtime error. You will get an error saying that expression X cannot be used as an assignment target. Fine. So the answer for the first question is it will throw a runtime error. But if I ask you, how can you make it work? Yeah, you just make this as an in out parameter. So let me just re execute the anonymous block by making the type of the parameter as in out. Now you can see it is just printing the correct value square of 10 equal to 100. So the right answer for this question is a runtime error. Fine. Now let us move ahead to the next question. So here is a very simple anonymous block. Okay. So here is you can say like an outer block. Here is an inner block. So in the outer block I have declared a variable like v underscore num of number data type and assigned a value of 100. Then we are printing that value here. In the inner block also we are declaring a same variable v underscore num of number data type and assigning a variable or assigning a value 200. And from inner block also we are trying to print. So the question is what would be the output of this anonymous block. So pause the video at this point, take few minutes, think what would be the right answer here and then continue watching this video. Okay, let us continue. See, we can define in fact the same variable or we can define the variable with same name in outer block as well as inner block. It will not throw any error. Always the local variable takes precedence over the global variable. So in this case, what will happen? The outer block variable will get first printed from this DBMS output line. And then when the inner block gets executed, the inner block value will override the global variable. So the inner block value will print the 200. So in this case, the right answer is 100 and 200. But suppose if I ask a question, how can you access the outer block value also in the inner block? Let us see how, how we'll be able to access it. Okay, so here is the block. First, let me execute the block. As expected, it will print 100 and 200. But my question now is, how can I access the 100 in the inner block? Because 100 is declared in the outer block and 200 is initialized in the inner block. Suppose if I want to access both 100 and 200 in the inner block, how can we do? 
by default if there is no name assigned to a block and again this is an anonymous block since this anonymous block doesn't have any name we will not be able to access the outer block variable as well as inner block variable within the inner block itself because the inner block value our variable always overrides the outer block variable if the variable is defined with the same name but if we give a name for the block then it is possible so that's what we are going to see so to declare a name for a variable sorry name for a block we can use the label so this is the syntax of the label let us give the a label of the inner block as inner similarly i'm just going to give the outer block name as outer so now you have got a name for your block so outer block name is outer and inner block name is inner now with that name we will be able to access the variable so by default when you try to execute it will always consider the local variable name so inner block will always refer to the inner block value but you can access using the label name now let's say inner dot so this will refer to the inner block variable name similarly this will refer to outer block variable name see now you can see let me re-execute the code now you can see from inner block we are actually accessing the value from the outer block variable so using this label we will be able to access it if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question SQL practical question and concept videos if you want any questions to be answered in this channel please post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id and thanks a lot for watching this video